hi everyone and welcome to my first studio vlog now if you're new here hi my name's Chrissy and this is going to be the first of a new series of mine um I am venturing into a new um venture <laughs> for me um and I'm going to tell you a bit more about that in this video um I have been working so hard at a um on a new brand for myself um, and I thought I would take you through the journey with me with these studio vlogs now I've been doing vlogging for probably a year and a half maybe a bit more um, but I kind of started this channel with a bit of makeup then I went on to kind of like helpful videos and guidance videos um, then it was a lot of pregnancy videos when I got pregnant and then it's been a lot of mum and daily life routine um and i've kind of developed and grow grown and um evolved and i have now ventured into a new brand um of my own that i have created and i kind of wanted to share that journey with you so i wanted to do this studio vlog series um now i will still kind of show you some of my day-to-day -day, um goings on um and include keelan in some of these videos as well because i know some of you just really love to watch him but i do want to now focus on my business part of this world um so let's talk about my brand so my brand is called bambles and i'm getting ready to launch this um this brand soon um it's is just it's it's an etsy page and basically uh i focus on mother and baby bits so i have loads of plans in the next year um but i am planning to launch this on the 22nd or 23rd of October so I've been working on it for probably about three four months now Um, I've kept it kind of secret but now I want to kind of show my journey with you and I've started to get a few things in and I'm starting to make the products I've been doing research on everything and I'm going to kind of share all of this in the next few videos kind of thing so Hopefully, by the time that this video goes out, um, Bambles will have launched. So it's probably it was probably launched two days ago. So I would love it if you go take the link in bio and check it out and see what you think. Um, I am planning on launching a few products, three products. So my first product is going to be these little roller balls. So if some of you are new here i am actually a nils yard consultant as well um i'm going to be doing a whole video on how i kind of like make money and my income um but i am a nils yard consultant is one of my streams of incomes because i just love the brand uh it works with me and my brand and it's just it's <laughs> It's like so easy to sell because it's such good products. Um, this is their Christmas catalogue. Um, so if you ever want to buy something from Nils Yard, then definitely hit me up and I can send you my personal website link. Um, but what I do is I use some of the products in there. Like we focus on essential oils. That's mostly what I focus on selling. But we take some of the I take some of these items and make my own items as well. So this is a roller ball that I have been working on and I sourced these like, they're like frosted glass roller balls with these like bamboo tops and I'm making, or I have made some, uh, what's it called? Like um, baby sleeping calming, um, uh, like, oils so that you can so i've been using one on keelan with my own concoction um and i basically rub it on his feet at night and sometimes on on his spine he loves that as well um so that's kind of what i uh so one of the items that i'm doing another item is 
are these little boxes. These were the item that started this all off. Um, so I sourced these boxes and what I love about my brand is that I mostly source recycled goods. Um, I am just so about the recycling life and kind of reusing things. So I found this box company and I found these recycled boxes and uh, they're the perfect size for these sensory boxes so i've still got a bit of work to do on these um but the contents are pretty much done so inside you get this handmade kind of um what is this this isn't string it's just like it's just a bit sensory and basically i do three colors i do this green one for a more neutral color i do a pink one and i do a blue one um a lot of the time you will find these are like multicolored in um a lot of like kind of stores online but i kind of wanted to do something that was a bit more neutral a bit more muted colors and kind of just went with a theme um i just i wanted something like that when i had keelan so i thought i would make something so we've got this i'll show you the different colors as well then we have a large feather because kids like babies love this this is so sensory for them and they just love this and it's something for them to grab hold of play with and just feel as well these are something that i need to spray paint um but these are bubbles so you just got a pack of bubbles in here because again these are very sensory um a peg because it's great for these are these are great they haven't got any kind of little bits on them so they're great to stick in the box and kids like babies can chew on them and just get really involved with these and i just think they're really cute so a nice little peg for them a balloon again another real sensory item so i do three colors i do the gold white and gray so that's that and then lastly I can't get this all out, but this is a foil sheet. So a nice foil sheet because, oh my God, babies love it. They love it because it they can see themselves in it. It's reflective. It's, <laughs> Craig, um, and it's, it's just very, again, sensory for them. So this is my little sensory box. Inside you will also find one of my business cards. Now I done a whole video, not a whole video, but basically I done a quick clip of me opening up my business cards and a few other items. So I'm going to insert that now. I thought I'd go through with you some of these items. I don't know how I'm going to do this, whether I'm going to stick it into like stick it in or whatever. But anyway, got this little storage mini medium storage box for my jewelry bits um so i plan on organizing all my bits there um and i thought i'd go through with you these packages so <clears throat> oh wow so this is my stamp with my bambles logo on it and this is what it looks like stamped so that is amazing i'm really looking forward to getting this stamped up on some things yeah that's amazing and what i love about this um i chose a company um that is kind of like all done by recycled wood um well for for the most part anyway i i have i do have what else? in here yes i do i completely forgot about the stickers so oh these are lovely so these are my stickers that i'm going to be putting in my orders so they're really cool but what i love about this is it's all recycled paper um so they are you know it's it's better for the environment um and i just love that it's recycled so yeah that's really cool so get yeah, got quite a few there so gonna keep them oh this is so cool i just love this look at this so gonna be stamping up some products soon with my little stamp and then i've got some business cards so let's see oh all packaged nicely in here 
so this um company like packages it all with cardboard that's a lot of cardboard but hey ho and these are my business cards so let's see cardboard all in there Oh, amazing i love them Hold on. yeah so these are my business cards can you see that <gasps> ignore mickey over there so got my little business card here and then what i've done is just said thank you for ordering with bambles a few of my details and then i've left this bit blank because this is where i'm gonna write a little thank you note um where you know just saying thank you for ordering even though it says it there i don't know if i need to write anything then i can write it here so really love those um and i got i think i got 50 here so i've got a nice batch here so i'm pretty much almost good to go um i've just got to get the rest of my stuff kind of so i need to do the rest of my oiler bottles um stamp some things up yeah so i think uh, maybe next week like in the in the next couple of days i will be kind of getting things a bit more together and finalizing the products so that's exciting um so yeah if you if you haven't already um follow my bambles um instagram site um where you can find more on my products so as you can see i have the stamp and i'm going to be stamping these boxes up with my brand and also with um i want to write a sensory on this box as well so yeah got a few of them and then what's the other thing oh yeah one more thing is i'm dabbling in bracelet making so these are targeted for mums um and they are a few crystals can you see that a few crystals i've been wearing this for a while i always try and um test my own products on myself to see where i can develop and make them better and what i love what i don't love about them and i really enjoy this so um i'm going to be making some more of these and they are going to be going on my shop so they are the three items that i'm launching with and then i have a few ideas for christmas and also um so like a kind of as soon after my launch i'll be launching a christmas item and then i have ideas for next year as well i kind of want to develop into children's wear children's toys um and a few other kind of smelly items like soap and baby bath and stuff like that i've only done a few items of each so i've only got five rollables i am doing five um sensory boxes and then i have six of the amber bracers because i just don't know how well my shop's gonna do because i'm quite small here on youtube still um but I would love for you to hit subscribe and follow me on this journey. Um, I thought I've been rambling on for ages now. Um, but yes, I thought I would do a few videos of going through this, my progress and stuff. So yeah um just follow me today so today is like a work day and i'm going to just uh, let me show you i've set all my workstation up here this is my workstation and basically i am going to sit and do some work and create some of my concoctions and items and get them all packaged up and ready for my launch um so yeah let's uh, let's make some of these bits so follow me along i'll just stick you on a time lapse i think
rather than like like on the client on the customer um so um i'm just gonna redo this one in a bit um but for the time being i'm just going to carry on with the rest got this little basket going now and basically these are all my finished products now they're actually not completely finished i want to get some sort of i need to research and get some sort of label put on this um but it's basically baby sleep calming lotion so i'm gonna make something up and stick that on there but they are pretty much ready to go i lost two of my bracelets so i've only got two bigger sizes of the kids um amber bracelets and then two smaller sizes um and i think i'm just going to stick with that for now and then make some more if i have more of a demand but yeah that's my little basket of stuff that's getting done so i'm going to carry on doing the rest of my work today finished making the bracelets and i'm really happy with them actually i think they look really good let me show you so these are my bracelets and so they basically have um um amethyst moonstone uh, rose quartz and another one um and yeah i think tomorrow or whenever i get a next work day i'm gonna work on the backing cards for these uh, i think i'm gonna make them myself so i need to look up how to do them but yeah i've just got five because i i'm just doing low stock at first because i don't know how well every what's gonna sell well what's not gonna sell well so i think five is a good number to start with um so if you do want them then definitely head to my bambles page etsy store and check them out so i don't know whether i mentioned that but most of so all of my products will be um on an etsy store but yeah so i'm really happy with these bracelets um and i purposely put like a hook on there but also uh, an extendable chain so it's not just like a hook and eye and it just is one size this is a one size fits all and it's like a, an adjustable um size i've done that on purpose so that these will fit most people um so yeah uh what am i gonna do next i think 
I'm just going to tidy up and call it a night um, because it is, what's the time? Hmm, it's half past three, so I've still got time, so I might do some other bits. Um, but I think I'm going to mostly tidy away and then kind of prep for a photo day. So I want to do a photo day this week with these products. So, yeah. Um, yeah, that's what I'm going to do now. Oh, and I also, this afternoon, just announced it on my Instagram page um, about Bambles. And I'm hoping that people will go to my Bambles Instagram page and like and follow. Um, so that's a bit nerve wracking. So we'll see by the end of tonight if people have actually followed me. Um, but yeah, I think what I'm going to do now is put everything away and then do some work on the computer. Like I want to work on these backing cards and um, some cards to kind of put in the like postage boxes and stuff like that. So that's what I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to tidy up now. Oh, I'm tired. That took me probably a good hour to do the, just these five bracelets. So it, it's it is like a heart probably a bit more than an hour actually but it's a lot of graft it's a lot of concentration um but i really enjoyed it so i'm looking forward to hopefully making more of these if they sell well um and then possibly making some something new um so yeah i'm gonna sort my life out excited for it's not something i know how to use or anything like that say hello <laughs> hello <laughs> go on you stand there um but it's going to hopefully help me grow and develop my brand and the items that i want to create so really light actually this is my new sewing machine. What a beauty. Um, so I think I'm going to sit and try and figure that out later on tonight. And then also in here, I needed these, just some fabric scissors. So yeah, I'm going to try and figure that out later tonight. But first... <laughs> just laugh to yourself. First is dinner time, and I'm literally waiting for an avocado order tonight. So we have nothing. We have nothing in the house um, except for these. What mums haven't tried these? These are like the pasta in sauce. You literally just add what, like boiling water to it or milk? Yeah. I'm gonna cook this for dinner. everyone so it's been a f quite a few days since i last spoke to you um because i've just been kind of getting myself prepared for things 
Today I'm basically spending the whole day in front of the computer um, and uploading my Etsy store and getting it ready. Launch day is actually tomorrow. So um, that's really nerve wracking. I don't think I'm going to get that many orders or anything. Um, it turns out um, that I'm only uploading two finished pieces at the moment and that is my bracelet. So my crystals bracelet. And then I'm also going to upload my sensory boxes. So it's just two items that are going to be available on my Etsy store. Hopefully by in, two, in a week's time, I'll be able to upload my rollables. Um, because they are basically ready. I just want to find the perfect label for them. So um, I've just got to finalise them. So they'll hopefully go up next week. So that'll be an extra thing. And then I want to start creating my Christmas candles um so that's the, the the next two things so today i'm just going to focus so i've got a list of things i need to do i need to upload my etsy store i need to create a card like um like a, a picture uh, i've got a picture of just my crystal my bracelet and my crystals and it's got a white background and i want to write what each individual crystal is beneficial for um so i'm gonna make that i make that on canva um i need to finalize prices so i've done a spreadsheet of how much each thing should cost um like how much it was to make each thing um each product um and then how, so from that how much it should cost and then what my profit should be by the end of it um, and then I want to finish this vlog as well as I've made a little kind of like video like promo video for my sensory box so I also want to finish that and have that ready to go tomorrow so that can go up on my Instagram so I've got a bit of promo going on um, and then I kind of want to figure out exactly what I'm going to you know my pieces that i want to kind of like how, how do i want to talk about it tomorrow on my instagram and like market it and so on so i need to kind of do quite a lot of admin so that's what i'm going to do now um yeah what else oh yeah my sewing machine so you saw that i got a sewing machine last time i spoke to you um and this is the sewing machine i've been practicing a lot on it um just making like little things and trying to get used to um the stitches and you know making things so hopefully within the next week i'll show you on here on it on youtube as well um my progression with the sewing and how I'm using it and my plans for it. So I want to make a couple of like Christmas items with it because I just think uh, that it's good practice and so on. So yeah, I am just going to get on. My computer's really playing up at the moment, but I want to just get on and start. I think first up, I'm gonna sort my Etsy store. So that's what I'm gonna do. Got a nice coffee here as well, so to keep me company um hopefully this computer starts working but yeah afternoon everyone so i've literally spent most of the morning slash afternoon what is it it's three o'clock now um at my computer and finalizing things i have my etsy page all sorted priced up ready to go so tomorrow i just need to kind of say that it's live and so that's really um that's what you hear that's exciting and scary and all of that um but now that that's ready to go that's like all good um i'm gonna sit and think of my christmas items now i'm making a few christmas special items um so i will update you on that in another vlog um but yeah tomorrow's a big day um 
and I will show you all of you know my Etsy page um, once it is live so I'll catch up with you on launch day tomorrow oh my god I'm so nervous what I, I doubt anyone will even buy anything um but I'm going to um, kind of get Etsy ads and, you know, really, really push this as much as I can because I'm really proud of it and passionate about my items. So, yeah. Okay, I'm going to just like kind of do a bit of research for the rest of the night and then catch up with you later. Bye, guys. Okay, so I'm going to finish the vlog here. Um, and I'm going to do a whole video on my, my next vlog will be on my launch day and kind of how it went. And I will show you my individual items in that video. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this video and seeing the process of me getting my Etsy store ready. And I will catch up with you in my next studio vlog. This is going to be, I, I really hope that this series is going to be um, fun for you guys to watch. Just kind of watching me um, kind of manage my Etsy store, you know, make my items, which are all handmade by myself, um, grow a small business, hopefully, um, as well as being like a, a mum as well um and kind of balancing the two that's kind of what i want to show you guys like how i balance my work life and mum life um so yeah this is already like 30 minutes long this video so um i will see you in my next studio vlog and i will leave my etsy page down in the description box box if any of you want to have a little gander at it so anyway stop rambling I will see you tomorrow, guys.